it's Juanita McDowell from Emotion Real Estate Institute giving you a tech tip that was inspired by a student who emailed me, I need to create a to-do list. Can I use Google to do that? The answer is yes, you can. In fact, it's one of the easiest and best ways to create your to-do list. Let me show you how to do that. You're going to go to Google Calendar. I understand the question because quite often people come here and think, hmm, it's just a calendar view. Because if they do go to task and they click this drop down box, they can see the only thing they can do is colorize their task. So what you really want to do to start creating tasks, now watch what's going to happen in my right side of my screen, is you want to click in the box. And now when you do that, you can see your task list right over here uh, on the right side. So it's a very easy operation, two ways to create a task. Let me give you those two ways. You can actually pick a day, let's say the 21st click in that day. Now instead of the event, click on task. And I'll just say read book one. And then I can put some notes in there and create the task. As you can see that's pretty clean and easy. Another way to create a task is to come down. You want to come to the option next to actions and click add task. And that appears. So now I can say test one, two, three and that task is now created and I can very easily click the arrow and test one two three can actually have its own notes and I can create a due date for the task I can make that on the 30th and go back to the list and that's just as easy as that any task that you select let's say I've got this task for the 29th but I really don't want it on the 29th I want it on the 30th there are two ways to move that task around click on count actions and move it down and now it's under the 30th. Or I can take any task and I can drag and drop it from the 28th to the 29th. It's just that easy. Other actions to perform. Let's say I want to print out my to-do list. The very first thing I want to do, first of all, is I want to, well here's the print task list. First I want to view mine in order. So let's just view in my order. And as you can see, that's the order I put them in and I can print them that way or I can sort by due date which is really the way I want you to do it because that helps you understand which dates are first got to get the ones done on the 18th before I go to the 21st and now I'm able to print and that print will be based on that order so print task list you can see it comes up there we go I have now all of my task list in the order in which I have uh, assigned them on my calendar it's just that easy so now I can go back here. Let's say there's a task like this one right here that I want to delete. Then all I need to do is hit the garbage can. It deletes that task. Read that book. As you see, that was just a task that I made up. So I'm going to delete it and it's gone. If any time I have a completed task, I can mark it complete from here. I can simply come down here and click into the box and it automatically deletes it. And I can change my mind if it's not completed. I can actually do that here. I can click in the box, mark it complete, or decide mm, not quite ready, uncheck the box. And that's it. I'll let you play around with some more features, but I hope this has helped you learn how to create a task list and print one out and change the dates if needed. If you have any questions, hit me up on the channel. Love to help you out. Thanks for watching.